mosquitoes are unbelievable. About a million of them. Okay, it's springtime. We're back. Wow. Folks, I've never seen so many mosquitoes in there. Okay. Uh, let me adjust the... Uh, I'm going to read from the camera first what the settings are. Oh, yeah. Oh, hands down there, Jack. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm afraid so. Uh, it sucks. All right. Here's... Uh, Alright, saturation for the colors. It's going to be a tough call, guys. Uh, conditions are very, very rough tonight. And F10 may not be the way to go. But, yes, it's a big ring because of the size of, uh, at F10, we, uh, we're witnessing a lot of magnification here. So just give me a minute to do the proper adjustment. This is two seconds, by the way, or even less than that. Yeah, um, just uh, bear with me for a moment, folks. I'm going to uh, just let me do a couple of adjustments, such as the APC. We're going to put this at zero, and. Uh, the gamma is at 45. I need to adjust the video a little bit. And it's not completely dark outside. So, this is two second exposure. Uh, the AGC is turned off, so I've got no AGC at all. No magnification. Yeah, I got central stars there for sure. Uh, let me recenter the object because it's an Alcaz and the scope's not properly aligned. It Oh yeah, foil mount is the way to go. If you're a diehard of Star Party, foil mount is the way to go. There's no question. Okay. All right. Shall we go? How many seconds we shall go? About uh, six seconds. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna give that shot here at six seconds. Uh, whoop. Oh, there we go here, six seconds. Um, because it's F10, I'm afraid we're going to have to go a little bit higher than that, folks. So I'd say bump that up to eight. Okay, it looks like we're not 100% uh, uh, focused and it's not totally dark yet. Wow, uh, the object shifts uh, quite a lot at F10. Uh, we're going to see the uh, the error, the tracking error. Yeah, the AGC is off, uh, completely off. Uh, let me work a little bit on the focus here, because um, I don't like what I'm seeing. Here's what I'm going to do. Um, let me engage the zoom here for a moment, and all I need to do is focus uh, on one of the stars at the bottom. All right, just bear with me. We've got the zoom on, and we're going to attempt to do, see the tracking error, the scope is, is quite a lot. Um, it's not properly aligned either. So it's going to be hard to do an F10 comparison, very hard, especially with this camera. 
But nonetheless, uh, let's uh, give it a try and see what we could do. We actually see the essential star pop in and out. So that's quite interesting, actually. Let me do the proper adjustment, the proper focus, and to give justice to, to all of this here. And, uh, all right. Okay, this is gonna be an eight second shot. I don't mind going at eight seconds because my tracking error is, is just horrible. Okay, here's the tracking, uh, I mean, here's the, uh, Looks like there's a haze in the background. Okay, let's adjust a little bit the uh, object here. Wow, this sucks tonight. Uh, conditions are rough, folks. This is not going to be good. We got the two star separation on the left quite nice. Okay, this is nice, it's getting nicer. Let me do, uh, a little bit of APC. Here's the wispy detail I was looking for and the stars are pinpoint in the center. Oh, it's, t it's here too, it's uh, just horrible heat wave here. It really, really isn't the night for that. Uh, I had much, much better than that before. And I'm frankly disappointed a bit, uh, quite a lot, because of conditions. So here, I just uh, switched to Gamma 1 instead of Gamma 45. And uh, we'll see if we could, uh, I like the pinpointness of the star in the middle and right on top. Boy, can we ever see that well? Increase the uh, sharpness a little bit. And uh, let me change the APC. Hang on. Okay, so just increase the APC a little bit. I still don't find this as good. But we're at F10 and the tracking's not good enough to give us the proper image that we want to see. Yeah, no, I see it much better than that. Then the second star in the middle started to disappear. So you can imagine how rough the conditions are. That looks like clouds, thin clouds going by actually. No, David, I don't find this amazing. I'll tell you why. Uh, if I put the MFR5 in there for less magnification a little bit, uh, no, this is up to 10 seconds now. And obviously I'm losing uh, image brightness and that is a uh, condition uh, issue. And the wispy detail that I'm used to seeing there is not there uh, compared to what I normally see. So I'm really not happy with what we're uh, looking at here. Let me, uh, okay, we still have blue sky, no wonder, okay. All right, yeah, we still got blue skies here, so it's not 100% dark. No, I'm not happy with what we're looking at at all, and this is due to conditions. Let me increase uh, the APC. We're going to try to get something a little bit better. We do see a, a hint of uh, wispy detail, but it's not the detail that I'm, I'm used to see. Uh, definitely not it. We see detail in the ring itself. It's, it's okay. 
but it's never, never to uh, what uh, the amount that we're used to uh, to see. F10 is still not bad. Yeah, on moment of good seeing. Okay, I just saw some really nice wispy detail on the right, and it disappears. So obviously, uh, it's conditioned. The uh, the soup we saw on the moon earlier is affecting the deep sky as well. No, this is a 10 second shot. Yeah, this is F10 at uh, at 16 inch, meaning it's 4,064 millimeter um, uh, uh, focal length. So it's very, very long. It's really high power. But as I said uh, earlier, I see much, much better than that. And I do mean much better. Let me try to improve on that if we can. Yeah, see the background is kind of uh, washed out a little bit. I don't know if I should uh, give a little bit of gain, and uh, I think I will. So bear with me for a moment. We're gonna give a bit of gain here. Oh man, this is washed out completely. This is conditions. Okay, let's engage the... Um, uh, AGC at two, so let's uh, give it a, a two minutes here uh, to get our uh, full 128x uh, exposure, two seconds, before we engage to hyper mode. There she goes. She's coming slowly but surely. No, this is this is horrible. This is not nice at all. Uh, simply because of conditions. M57 a little bit here. Try to center it a little bit better at least. Well, we got two hot pixels on the side there uh, on this camera. I want to try to uh, fine tune the focus a little bit more. could see everything move and this is uh, atmospheric disturbance that we're, uh, what we are witnessing at the moment. This is two second exposure. We still see uh, the central star and this haziness uh, over the whole image. It's just it's bad conditions, really, really bad conditions. Unless the correct plates full of mosquitoes, uh, I wouldn't know that. Just let me play with the focus a little bit there, folks. Okay, hang on a sec. See, I got the gain at two now uh, out of eight. So it's a little bit less than uh, a quarter. Just bear with me for a second, folks. I'm looking at the two, uh, the double stars uh, at 11 o'clock position or so. Okay, we should be all right that way. Let's give it a try and let's go back to eight second exposure and see what we're gonna uh, get out of this. I'm gonna lower the brightness a bit and uh, all right, this is better. So we need a little bit more gain. I'm gonna back down on the exposure just a tad. Because we don't need this bright. I still don't get the wispy detail that I was looking for uh, inside of the frame. 
there we go. Okay, it's getting a little bit better. Okay, this is six second exposure. Yeah, we just saw the background change a little bit, and this is obviously thin clouds going by or haze, but more to me like thin clouds. Of course, the uh, scope's not tracking properly, and uh, we see that move. Yeah, it's not up to uh, what I was expecting because of conditions, because uh, on the moon it looked pretty rough. And uh, if it's the case here, we're going to be suffering the same uh, fate here. Not a good night to do a test like that. Nonetheless, I guess this is an idea for a few of you sensitivity capabilities. So we're down to six second exposure at the moment. And... Uh, I will be able to remove the uh, camera and try the uh, DF stand. And for that, I'm going to need to shut down NSN for a moment because I'll, I'll need to engage a KVY uh, with the KVY uh, program. Uh, we'll be able to rebroadcast. Here we're using uh, the frame grabber that's directly fed to NSN, so I don't need a KVY. It's not it. It really isn't it. I've seen M57 so, so much better than that. It sucks. It's conditions. It's mosquitoes. It's everything else we could throw at it. <laughs> oh boy, it's one of those nights. Okay. There's a million mosquitoes on the other side, so I'm hesitant to open the door, the warm room, and go on the dome side where they all reside. I do at this moment here because I think I'll get eaten alive by mosquitoes. All right, we're going to do it. Uh, we do see some wispy detail, but this is not what I'm used to see. And condition sucks right now, and it's obvious. And for that, I'll have to shut down, as I said, uh, NSN. I need to change browser for that so I could use KBY. Uh, which browser am I using now? This is Chrome. Uh, I might be able to stay on, but I don't know... No, I need to reconfigure my window here. All right. Just give me a moment, folks. I'm going to shut down for a moment, and I'm going to switch camera, of course, and I'll be right back with everything uh, for that. So it'll take a good 10 minutes at least. So a bit of patience, and that will be all set. So again, uh, we're down to six seconds, and the game's at two on the, uh, on the exterminator at the moment. It's pretty rough looking in the, in the background at the moment. We do have good moments of seeing. Uh, we do see some wispy detail in there, but it's not the one that I was looking for by far. The magnification is too high. Uh, this is 4,064 millimeter focal length, which is F10 at 16 inch. So the magnification is huge. So we're gonna magnify everything that gets in the way, plus it's never as sensitive as what it could be. But we do have a lot of stars in there. Uh, those two stars inside of M57 really, really come out nicely. And there's some, only some wispy detail that I was looking for in the ring are there, but it's not to what um, I would have liked to have it at. Uh, let me lower, let me do a quick adjustment of something here uh, before we uh, shut her down like that to switch camera and uh, browser. Okay, this is not bad actually, but it's still not it. Yeah, this is about like 500 times magnification. And uh, it's not the best. Okay, folks, I'm going to stop that. Uh, I'm going to just sign off for a minute, switch the camera, find the focus, rearrange the screen here so you can see what the DS10 uh, will be able to do. Again, this is a six second exposure gain at two at F10, so I'll be right back. <laughs> 